many people are of the opinion that the Ghana movie industry isn't well packaged enough to receive corporate bodies and individuals. There's one man that proved everybody wrong by venturing into the acting industry of Ghana. Mr. Edward Kufo is our guest on Star Chat with David Ousu on Media 5. So on Star Chat with David Ousu today, we have one of the most gentlemen in the country as our guest. Welcome, Mr. Edward Kufo. Thank you for having me. You're looking nice. Thank you, you too. Thank you, sir. Um, many people say the Ghana movie industry isn't well packaged to attract corporate bodies and individuals like yourself. So tell us, what motivated you into acting? Well, it wasn't something that motivated me. I believe you either have that passion and that desire or you don't. I've always had it from my childhood. I've always been inclined towards the arts, singing, theater, drama, acting. Um, I went to elementary school at Christ the King. I was doing that there. I was doing the cultural dancing. I was at Laboni Sixth Form. I was doing the same thing, doing theater productions. It's always been there. So it wasn't something that just motivated me suddenly. I just always had the inclination. So. Looking at your background, so venturing fully into it on screen, did you have any challenge? Well, there wasn't an, a challenge per se. Um, actually, I was doing it before I left the country um, after six form when I was in Laboni and went to school abroad. Okay. Um, the first movie I did in Ghana mm. was in 1986, 1987, wow. joint venture, um, Nafti production. And that was, that was a sixth form for me at the time. Okay. And then I left Ghana for about 20 years. So people don't realize, but actually I started here. Okay. That was the very first one I did, joint venture. And um, the director, Agoligo, um, and uh, Nafti. Mm. It was Nafti at the time, so. Yeah. So has your background as a son of the former president of this country affected the kind of roles you take? Um, yes and no. Um, to begin with, um, I don't think, uh, you know, that where you're from or who your parents are or your background, mm. your pedigree yeah. should have an effect. God has given everybody their own gift. Okay. And it's up to you. Because the Bible says, you know, I'm a pastor as well. Wow. So your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. Sure. God has given each and everybody something that is uniquely them. Mm. And you're supposed to make a living a lifestyle out mm. of that so if you pursue that that is naturally you know god given innately you that is what will bring you mm. you know what you need mm. it will open the doors and lead you where you need to go mm. so uh, that being on the side um the the problem with uh, you know my dad wasn't always president he just became president in 2001 one yeah uh, but i had this inclination before okay um, now, having left Ghana after the first movie, okay. Joint Venture, and coming back 20 years later, by the time I came back, there were you know, other actors, players in, sure. the, in the field. Sure. Jackie, mm -hmm. um, you know, Majid, all of them. Um, so, coming back in, it was like, oh, where, where is he coming from suddenly? Um, some people even said, oh, he's bored now. His father is president, he's got too much money, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> now he wants to come to the music in, uh, movie mm -hmm. industry. Some people say, oh, or the you know, they said all kinds of things, but they didn't know. So um, when I first came back and I did um, double with uh, KSM, okay. then I did um, um, wrong target um, um, with and John Dumelo was my he was a star, was a cool star. Okay, um, a few of them, and then I did something with Shirley. I think Shirley's, um, and then I did living with Trisha for a while okay. too. Um, Shelley's thing really put me on the map. Um, Adam's Apple season two, sure. and I think that had wide reach. So everybody was like, oh, "Okay, we can really do this, do we can act." But I think it hasn't had um, an effect on the roles I play. In fact, uh, not the way you're thinking. Mm. I think because of my background mm. and because I need to prove that. Listen, I I do this. I have a passion for this. I've taken more diverse roles. I've played a madman. I've played a doctor. Mm. I've played a president, uh, a vice president as aspirant in Shelley's um, series. Mm. 
I try to take as many diverse roles as possible. It's not so much, you know, the, the caliber of the character I'm playing that matters. It's the delivery, how I can, you know, convince my viewers. The actor's job is done when your viewers watch it and they can actually believe mm. that you are the character. Mm. And it happened to me before, you know, when one of the, um, actually was having champagne, um, that was also Shelly. Mm. I was at the gym with my wife, okay. and a friend of ours came to me, and she smacked me, I was on a treadmill. And she came and she had a newspaper, and she was like, She smacked me, and I was startled, so I almost, and I was like, Why? My wife was Nanama <laughs> Mama McBrown in the movie, and, um, 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 what's her name? Jocelyn okay. was my love Jocelyn interest. Jemma. Uh, we had had a uh, relationship before and we didn't get married now i got married to mm. Nanama, and later she came back into my life when i was vice president so the the role i started having a romance with her while my wife was still Nanama, okay. and she used to be an Nanama student wow. the story was really intricate so you know it was ongoing and my friend came to me and she had watched she had been watching the, the series yeah so she just walked up to me and smacked me ah. and i was looking at her like what is she talking about and i'm like this is my wife right here mm. oh, you're going to create a problem for me what is she talking about i'm, like, I'm having an affair with another my wife is standing right there my real wife not my tv wife no, yeah so then they come eh, I, 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 champagne you know, you know, and i was like oh it's just a movie that's how serious people take but at that point i realized that if she couldn't disassociate disconnect me from the character that is the greatest compliment she had believed so much that you acted so well yeah many of them i have a wife and i'm also having an typical of you know sure. guys you are having a two timing mm. but it was so you know believable so at first i was upset that you know she startled me i almost got hurt mm. but then later i thought about it, i was like oh she paid me a compliment she actually believed she couldn't even disconnect me from the character that like i'm doing it in real life when it was only a movie sure so i think my background really actually challenges me to do more and play more diverse roles to prove not that i really need to prove to anyone yes. but to 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 you know earn my stripes if you will in the industry that mm -hmm. okay i'm an actor this is what i do i can do it mm. so whatever role i'm you know approached with uh, providing the story is you know intricate and diverse I, I have a certain you know if i can see myself when i'm reading the script you can if i can see myself playing the character then i know i can deliver it because if you can't see it here it's going to be hard work trying to you know let anybody believe in you so um now the story of your wise friend in the gym yeah. tapping you for the role you played yes that should tell us that what we show on tv has influence yes on uh, on, on our yeah, country society. now let's talk about the foreign telenovelas running on our tv station at prime time say what do you say about that well you know content and uh, diversity and choice you know for public i'm not saying let's stop that but we also, and recently I think it has started, Multi-Choice is doing Aquaba Magic sure. as uniquely Ghanaian, Ghanaian. Uh, productions. Mm. And I think that is to be commended. We need more of that. Because we have to take pride in what we do. They have taken pride in what they do and they, they are selling it to us and we are buying, we are believing. Mm. What about us? If we show enough pride in what we do, we support, we, we grow our industry, other people will buy our stuff and, and put on their networks in their, in their countries. So I don't think it's a bad thing. We just have to make sure there's balance. But how are we going to have balance if, if our industry is fledgling? The only way you're going to learn to do better is you associate, you collaborate, you learn from somebody who's already there. You aspire to that level, that standard in the industry. So I don't think that our industry is dying. Yes, it's, it's struggling, it's young, it's, it's now trying to you know, gain ground. But the opportunity is right there in that quote unquote problem. Mm. From business perspective, what do you see wrong with our industry? Well, there's the, the, the artistic side and then there's the business side. Mm. I think the business side is also, we're not catching on. 
or we are catching on slower than we are. The, the material we are putting out and our, our unique stories, excellent. The production these days are comparable to anywhere, anything. But the business side is that the side we're not catching. What is what makes Hollywood Hollywood? If an actor can get uh, an Oscar nomination and then uh, or win an Oscar and then their their salary, if you're you know if you're starting to bring them a, a script, mm -hmm. you have to start paying them at twenty million dollars. Why? What is it about that side? Why? How come they have that? How 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 are their systems, their structures refined mm -hmm. to be able to? If generate that kind of revenue mm. and for that to carry that kind of uh, you know um, to w that kind of weight where uh, or even have that standard like an Oscar you know awards where if you're nominated is even being nominated is a uh, uh, you know it's an honor it's, it's a privilege an honor, yeah. but when you win now anybody coming to you knows this you can't just go and offer them anything this is what you need to mm. start at but it comes because they have organized that's the other thing with our industry. The, the, the actors, you know, actors guild, the producers, we need to get all that organized. The strength in numbers. And then all those individual groups and units, associations or fellowships or whatever you want to call them, need to come together as an industry. So when we approach the government for support, we have the strength of the numbers behind us. When we talk, it will make an impact. But if the music industry is going and then the, the actors are going and they're like, oh, we're different from them. Oh, you give us two million, they go and share. And this one's, oh, no, they're not part of us. There's fragmentation. Nobody's going to take you serious. If you are to advise industry players, movie industry players, mm -hmm. on what to do to attract investors and government attention, what would be the advice? Get organized. Get organized have your individual um, fraternities, if you want to call them. You have Actors Guild, you have uh, Screen Actors Guild, you have uh, Film, uh, um, I know because I'm a patron, patron of FICAC, okay. Film Crew Association, sure. okay. you have producers, you have directors. Get it galvanized, have serious membership, have, uh, you know, uh, IDs and, you know, registration where you can prove the numbers. Have good standing members, they should pay their dues, they should get on all that. You're organized. Then the individuals, because we are an industry. All those you cannot have a film crew mm. by itself. Yeah. What are they going to do? The film crew can only film with their actors. Yeah. The actors can only work on as a producer. The producer can only work on as a director. We are all interconnected. So besides having our individual fraternities, that all the individual fraternities must now come together to be the, the industry, the film industry. You know members then when we go to the government we'll say okay allocate a budget of this much this is what we need and this goes to this group this goes to that group this goes to this group for us to flourish because i i keep saying it america is america today because they've shown the world what they want the world to believe about america